guys, happy weekend, kind of. Happy Friday, it's seven-ish in the morning. Um, we've been up since five because why not? All right, so today starts a week where Parker's on the other side of town with his girls and my boys are actually with their dad until Monday. So it is a very rare occasion that I don't have some kind of little body around me on a weekend. So it's gonna be a sing girls go weekend. No, I'm just kidding, don't tell, don't tell, don't tell Parker. It is actually a very super duper busy weekend. I have a ton of work to get done. So you've been warned. I will not be held accountable for how long or how boring this vlog is, okay? You know when you create problems that don't really exist because you're an insane overthinker and you drown yourself in a cup of water? That's me. So we have a ton of stuff going on from a difference in the kids learning. Some of them are going back to face to face, others are doing distance learning. Our living situation, while it is acceptable, it's not sustainable in the long run, especially with all of this. Then bonus baby senior just got her car. We are picking it up today, or not we. I. I love to include myself in things I'm not invited for. You know what I'm saying? We're doing a lot of like, we're selling properties and we're trying to find a new one and we saw one yesterday and it just, on paper it looked perfect, but just being in that house, I can make any single, every single house work. You guys know, I mean, we grew up in like a one bedroom house and so space is not something that is instantly on my mind or storage capacity or things like that. There's things that I look at that generally most people don't. Like, is it a gas range? You okay back there? Are we okay? Oh, you finish your breakfast, huh? Why do you always finish last? Why do you always finish last? You're so silly. Now you're gonna have a cough attack for like an hour. Yep, yep, where are you going? All right, it's nice, nice talking to you. Nice, this is great having a conversation. Oh, okay, we're just gonna wipe our mouth on mommy's clean blanket, that's nice. That's just fantastic. Hey, do you want his leftovers? You want his leftovers, is that why you're over here? It's leftover o'clock, isn't it? Leftover o'clock. All right, so we are what was i telling you guys oh the stuff i look for is like is there enough space for each of the kids is there a gas stove and is there a gas hookup for the dryer and is there somewhere where i can hide my crap because i'm well aware that the condition i have now or the situation i have now is i'm so fortunate to have it i'm so fortunate to have a filming space and i'm so fortunate that everyone has their own room and i'm so fortunate to have all of those things but coming together into a family of six with four dogs is gonna be a hard swing and understanding that i think i'm going into the looking for our family home with a bigger open mind and it's it's one of those things where i can make things work parker's a lot different and so i'm like okay well you know this one is we can do this we can do that like yesterday the house the, the house yesterday just didn't feel right there was a weird smell coming from it and I've said this before, and this is gonna make me sound like a total diva, but I feel like I smell things stronger than most people. <laughs> and there was a there was a rank smell coming from that house, and it just smelled like insane, um, like wallflowers or scentsy or some sort of home air freshener trying to cover up the smell of there used to be dog pee in this house. I'm convinced, y'all. My biggest insecurity when someone comes into my home is, does my home smell like dog? So if you ever come to my house, one of the very first questions I'm gonna ask you is, do you smell the dogs? And I'm not lying when I tell you, every single person that has come to my house says no. It does not smell like dogs here, unless, if I didn't hear them, because they all bark, if I didn't hear them, I wouldn't think a dog lives here. So I think it's possible to have pets without your home smelling like pets, and that house smelled like a pet that needed some potty training. <laughs> anyway, um, where am I going with this? Okay, the whole point of this conversation is a lot of stuff 
personally, emotionally, financially, a lot of stuff is up in the air and I can't do anything about it except worry. I don't know where we're gonna move, so I'm worried. Parker's home is in the middle of being sold. Like, it's in contract, but still, it could fall through, you know, so I'm worried. Bonus Baby Junior's picking up her car today, so I'm worried. Yeah, it's just so many things that I have no control over. The only thing I can do to control the situation is worry. <laughs> so what do I do when I'm worried? I compulsively organize and declutter, which is what you see behind me right now. Y'all, I walked into my closet yesterday morning and I posted it on my Instagram. I was like, I use like 8% of my clothes. I use 8% of my clothes because I live in my prison, I sleep in my prison, I work in my prison, I poop in my prison. Like, I am in these four walls 24 seven of my life. So the rare occasion that I'm gonna wear a leather pencil skirt is very few and far between. You know what I'm saying? So I walked in my closet. Oh, and then after my explant, like I went through and I purged my closet. I didn't realize how much more purging I needed to do because I don't appreciate the way some of my clothes likes to make me feel. <laughs> so I went through my closet and I just ripped out so much stuff and the majority of it for me is like, it's from Kohl's, it's from Target, so I just donate it. So there's a couple of things that maybe I used once or twice. There's a couple of things that are a little bit pricier. There's some things that I would love to see someone love them as much as I did and maybe get a better use out of. And those are the things I post on my Poshmark. So anyway, I went crazy purging my closet yesterday and posting on my Poshmark. Right now, I'm wrapping a bunch of sales. There's already, there's already a bunch that I need to drop off at the post office in the next few hours. And then right now, I have to bundle, I think this is one sale and this is another. And I usually set up like a little, little pouches or smaller bags like this, where I just put a few like makeup products. So I just do little, little pouches like this and I have my little shipping envelopes and tissue paper, which by the way, I'm running out, so I need to go buy more. And I just, I have everything laid out. Usually what happens is that all of my sales happen within two days and then no one buys for months. And so it's easier for me to set up a station and just knock everything out than to just kind of piecemeal it because I don't think that's, like that's not usually what happens. It's a lot easier to just set up this eyesore and knock it out comfortably and then just take everything to post office. So I do pride myself in my stuff arriving safely and clean and very soon. So if you order today, I ship it out by tomorrow at the latest. Usually it's the same day. This intro was supposed to be really short, by the way. What was I getting at with the Poshmark thing? Oh, today, today. First of all, this is the dirtiest my hair has ever been in probably since my babies were newborns. Y'all remember when your kids were newborn and you didn't remember the last day you showered and it's probably been like four days. <laughs> okay, this is the dirtiest hair. This is the dirtiest my hair has been since the kids were newborn. Today what I wanna do is this psychological trick that I like to practice when I'm purging or decluttering. So, we develop emotional connections to things. When you develop an emotional connection to stuff, it's very hard to let go of it. But if you put it on, there's a big difference. So if I were to walk in my closet right now and I look up at all my shoe boxes, I'm like, oh, I love that one, I love that one, I love that. Oh, that's the beautifulest blue and I love that because it's leopard and that's tie-dye and I love everything and nothing makes sense to purge. However, if you take everything down, that physical labor that's involved, and you put it on and see it, and you have to put your foot in a shoe and you remember what it feels like, you are so much more likely to purge things that no longer suit you. Now, I'm totally sounding like I wanna be Marie Kondo, but I'm not, I'm just, it's my personal experience. So I grew up with parents that worked very hard for what they had. And so when I visit my parents now, I'm like, y'all are hoarders. And when I try to help my mom, I'm like, hey, let's get rid of this, let's get rid of that, let's donate this, someone could use this. Like, this has been here since the last time I visited, and I visited two years ago, can we please donate it? And she's like, no, that was too much money. Or someone gave me that. 
or your little cousin's nephew's neighbor's brother's parrot's cousin's pet's iguana wore it on their first communion. And I'm like, oh, okay. And so growing up from humble beginnings and working super hard for everything you have, it's a lot, it's a lot harder to get rid of things, I think, in the older generation. For me, I kind of see both ends of the spectrum growing up with very, very humble beginnings, but then also being self-made and working hard for myself and supporting my kids on my own and being able to provide for them in a way my parents never could. Um, I'm like, I still see more value in relationships and I still see more value in quality time and I still see more value in conversations and the way you raise someone versus are they wearing, you know, the newest, coolest sneakers that kids are wearing or have, have the best-selling Christmas toy in America or whatever, you know? So it's a lot easier. My mom says, que soy desprendida, like I let go of things too easy, even people. Um, maybe it's a Sagittarius thing, I don't know, but it's very easy for me to buy something and if it doesn't fit, if it doesn't work, to either give it away, sell it, or return it. Uh, I just, I don't know, man. If something doesn't fit into my life, it doesn't fit into my life, you know? So today, my idea, my plan, like what I envision myself doing is taking down all my shoes, all of them, piling, piling them up in my room and putting them all on. And then whatever just does not fit into my life anymore or my style or whatever, then either donating them or selling them on Poshmark. Yesterday I did clothes, today I think I'm gonna do shoes, which means if I do that today, I probably won't be able to get any filming done today until tomorrow. But the good news is no one's here to bug me all weekend. I should probably put that vibe out though, right? <laughs> it's gonna be a super productive, chill, but boring for you guys weekend. Probably a lot of dog spam. And all that noise you've been hearing through this entire super long introduction is the dishwasher, the washer, the dryer, in the dogs. But anyway, I gotta wrap these packages. I gotta catch up with y'all in the comments. Um, but I will check in later, hopefully, with cleaner hair.
name is Danny. I have a YouTube channel. And I'm also a shoe hoarder. The physical labor of carrying out all those damn shoe boxes. Enough! They're gonna be here for like a week. Get used to it. Ugh. Oh, Y'all, I'm really just, it's just all misplaced anger from, <laughs> from having to carry all those shoes, you guys. And having to listen to four dogs bark and whine and grind, groan, growl, whatever, growl for the next couple of days. Y'all, I am so pissed. This is me trying to smile, but I'm internally like a rage monster. Noise. I just need to take a minute. I need to take a minute. I need to chill. I posted on my Instagram that I'm going to do a Danny, a dear Danny. All right, whoever coined that phrase, I need to send you a prize. So whoever left that comment, when I do my girl talks, my girl rants, my girl vents, my ladies night in or whatever, where we all grab a drink and I answer your questions. Someone coined the phrase, Dear Danny. You, you should call these videos Dear Danny. And I swear I screenshot the comment. I don't know what happened to it. But if that was you, you need to reach out. We need to have a conversation. Anyway, so those are all my shoes. I mean... <laughs> I'm not trying to justify. There's not that many, right? I mean, how many? They're all like seasonal, but it's astonishing how many of them are heels and how rarely I wear heels anymore. I feel like, girl talk, I feel like Parker and I have just gotten to that slope in our relationship, slope, slump in our relationship where we don't dress up anymore. Like, I don't like that. I don't like that slump. That's the slump where you have little kids at home, you know, like you're newlyweds and then you have babies and then the babies are running around and barfing on you and then you don't wear heels anymore. I feel like we're in that slump, which is dumb because A, we're newlyweds, B, we don't have littles, C, we don't even live together. <laughs> so I need to start wearing heels around the house. She finally fell asleep. Finally. That's my little, <laughs> that's my baby. Um, yeah, maybe I just need to start wearing heels around the house. Who am I kidding? I'm gonna try all of these shoes on and I'm probably gonna post 20 of them on Poshmark, which means I'll have to figure out how to ship them. <sighs> you guys, you guys ever just wake up and you have one of those days where you're like, I'm gonna cry a lot today. I, th I think I'm just going to cry. My frustration, my anger, my rage. I anticipate these days pretty clearly. Like I feel them, I feel them piling up. I feel them piling up, piling up. I can anticipate when that day is going to come. And today is that day, I think. <laughs> Marin was judging me. So we are going to the P.O. Box 
or rather to the post office to drop off all the Poshmark packages. I have, oh my gosh, I have two giant tote bags full of them. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm going off all these tangents and my eye is super itchy. My hair is still wet. I've realized or I've come to the conclusion or rather I've come to the acceptance that the older I get, the more comfortable that I am going out looking like a haggard troll. <laughs> Like, at least I showered. Small victories, okay? Small victories. This year, man. Y'all, it's been a tough year. It has been tough. And I mean, it's just, it just keeps bringing us surprises. Like yesterday, Parker got rear-ended. Like full on smash rear-ended. And yeah, he got rear-ended yesterday. His car, it's all cosmetic. So, you know, they filed a police report and all that stuff. And it's just, it's just stuff. Thankfully, he's okay. Um, but yeah, this year is just full of surprises. What, what's next? You know, like talking flamingos and violent ostriches? Like, I'm ready. Oh, you guys. Anyway, we're going to the post office to drop off these Poshmark packages. My bedroom is still a phenomenal disaster. And I'm stuck in limbo because I'm like, do I attack this head on and just finish the decluttering process and just finish the reorganization and just finish the purging process so that when it comes time for us to move, probably, I'm just not even holding my breath anymore. <laughs> When it comes time to move, I know that I want to move 100% of the items that are in my bedroom. You know what I mean? I'd hate to move, and then once I move, have to purge because I'm unhappy with a lot of the stuff that I decided to move that I didn't want to keep, you know? So I'm like, what if I just do it now? What if I just do it now? I just purge. I finish purging my bedroom today. It's only two o'clock. Hopefully my hair doesn't dry crazy. <laughs> you never know. When your hair is not straight, you never know if it's gonna dry nice, if it's gonna dry crazy, or what's gonna happen. So we're just gonna, you know what, it's 2020. It might just fall out. it is but it's always a good time to steam you guys I hate to iron this little steamer is like the best 120 bucks I ever spent at Target with my 5% um I've had the crappiest afternoon slash morning so yesterday I totally fell off the wagon after I dropped off your packages. I came home and I was totally in the zone. I did my closet. I finished purging and organizing shoes and all that stuff and, you know, just finished up this whole area. I'm very happy with the results. I'm very happy with how decluttered I feel. I feel like I can breathe. I, ha I, I don't know if this happens to you guys, but... I, being a Sagittarius, and I'm not using that as an excuse, but I am stereotypically a non-graceful communicator, and I'm working on it, y'all. We're all work in progress, and I'm not offensive. I just come off as blunt or harsh, and I just feel like certain things don't need to be sugar-coated. You know, like, I will baby talk the existence of my dogs and my kids, all four of them, but an adult, I'm like, uh-uh, I don't have time to coddle you. Sorry, nope, keep it moving, you're a grown up. You see that? That's hair on your butt, grow up. You know, that's just how I am. And so I tend to be a little abrasive um, when I communicate. So sometimes when I think that I cannot convey what I want to explain in a healthy or graceful fashion, I just won't say anything. I'll put it in my pocket for later and then once I can calm down and I can articulate myself properly, then I'll talk about it. But in the meantime, while I wait, it is percolating and it is a pressure cooker. And so yesterday around six o'clock, I had the worst tension headache. You guys, you know you have too many headaches when you can identify 
what type of headache you're getting. So I had a tension headache right here and it felt literally like all I have to do is tell you exactly what I'm thinking and I know this headache will go away. But I'm not gonna do that, even though I want to. Look how cute these shorts are. They're from Amazon. Aren't they adorable? I was able to finish my closet and finish the declutter and I did this little, um, I have this empty closet. It used to be where Parker kept his like work stuff we had like a special lock on the door and stuff. And so now it's empty. And I was like, you know what? Instead of having to stare at all the shoes that I declutter all the time, I'm just gonna move a rack that I have holding nothing and just put the shoes there. So the Poshmark, the shoes that I have to list on my Poshmark all have a cool place to live, if that makes any sense. Anyway, let's finish steaming these. Today we have just a busy work day. I have some steaming to do. I don't know exactly what I'd like to film, but I don't have any content for the next couple of weeks, so I probably need to figure that out in the next hour or two. I do my best thinking in the shower. These are the same shorts, but in white. See the material? It's like a, I don't know. It's like a silky material without being silky or shiny, so it's not see-through. Oh, and they're lined too, so that's kind of convenient. And it comes with a cute little camisole tank. Where was I getting at with this? I, I jumped on here to share something with you guys specifically, and I forgot what it was. Well, that's not very useful. Y'all, I... If I seem a little turned off right now, like a little shut down, I'm just, I am burdened. I am heavily, heavily burdened with just tons of emotional labor, tons of like mental, mental load type stuff. You know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of in a negative place. And it's, it's funny for me to say that out loud because usually I'm like, hey, let's look on the bright side. There's so many bright sides that we can point out. Today I'm like, mm mm, today there's no bright side. Today I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna sulk and I'm gonna live in this misery just for a little bit. I'm gonna let myself feel it. I just feel very pessimistic. And I think this happens to me when I'm already sad about something or when I'm already frustrated about something and then it gets followed up with something else that's sad or something else that's stressful or something else that's hard. It makes it seem so much worse than it is and it just adds to it and adds to it and adds to it. So yesterday was kind of yucky because I just, I started to get really discouraged that Parker and I aren't gonna find like a perfect place for us. Like we're not gonna be able to find a perfect place for our family to live because he and I have very different priorities when it comes to the home. And so it just, it's just very stressful. I don't know if this is one of those things, you know how they say couples when they're planning a wedding like almost don't get married. It's like one of those arguments. Like, is home buying the same thing? Because I don't, I've never had that experience before. And so I feel very discouraged about that. And then that followed up with other stressors that are going on. And then I miss the boys. And my co parent texts me that, you know, one of my kids is like a weird, creepy rash on his neck. And, it's just hard being away from your kids when you know something's not kosher over there, you know? Not meaning, like, his dad's house. His dad's great. His fiance's amazing. Like, great family. So I'm not worried about that. But it's just, he's my baby, you know? And if something's wrong, I want to be the one that, that helps him feel better. So, yeah, just so much emotional labor from the house to kids to even, like, Wesley. Wesley cried all night. Finally, at about 3.30, I just got up. And I stayed up with him, and Wesley and I, he's down here, Wesley and I have been up together since then. It doesn't feel good. His diabetes is acting up, or is uncontrolled as we speak. And so he has the excessive thirst, the excessive urination. He's not hungry, which doesn't help, because if you're diabetic, you need to eat. And so it's just, I don't know. It just, it's funny because when all of this loads up on me, I get so mad because I have to do it by myself, you know, and it's one of the, it's one of the negative aspects of our current living situation is like, man, I got married so I could have a partner 
And on days like this where I am stressed out and I could really use some support, you're nowhere to be found. So it just, it hurts my feelings. But I am cognizant that I'm like in a heightened emotional state. So I don't, thankfully, I don't lash out about it. I just add it to my juggle, you know, add the ball to the juggle. Wesley's sick, all right, well then let's move our filming later in the day until he gets better. If he doesn't get better, I'm gonna call his vet. You know, just, what are you gonna do? I can have a day to myself where I can mope and, and, and sulk, um, and that's okay. I just don't wanna unpack and live there for a long time. I'm just not, I don't like to be, I don't like to be negative. Um, oh, this is the, this is the top. Isn't that cute? It's a little see-through, but I mean, if you're sleeping with it, in it, sleeping in it. <laughs> but do you guys want to see my proudest moment? Y'all are going to laugh. It's so stupid. The little closet I told you about. So these are the um, clothing items that are on Poshmark. And then this is the empty closet. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to give it a purpose. So these are shoes that, that's Roomba that you hear, by the way. She's obviously getting into trouble. Um, these are shoes that are either already listed on Poshmark or I still need to list on Poshmark. I think maybe three or four of these are already on there, but I still have a ton to post. I have to photograph them. There's two handbags down there that I need to post. But yeah, all of this is going up on Poshmark at some point. I still got my little table situation there. Do you see bubble? Um, and then I think that's it. Hey, Sophie girl. Hi, princess. Oh, you need a haircut, man. You do. You need a haircut because cause your hair's getting out of control. But you don't want to give you a haircut, then you can't have a ponytail. It's the worst. Where's my fatso? What are you doing? How you feeling? Huh? How you feeling? Do you want to go to the hospital? Do you need to go to the hospital? Yeah? I'll take you, Bubba. I'll take you to the hospital all day, every day if you need me to. Yes, I will, because I love you. Mama loves you so much. Anyway, it's 8 o'clock. We got some work to do. We got some steaming to do. We got some laundry to put away. Y'all, today's going to be a riveting day. But you know what? I told you. I done told you at the beginning of this vlog that it wasn't going to be entertaining. It's probably going to be boring, and it may, in fact, be short. I still don't know about that yet. Oh, I got a ton of packages in my P.O. box that I need to share with you guys. So we may unbox those at some point. But for now, I'm just going to keep steaming my worries away because the best way to handle my emotional turmoil is by sweeping it under the rug or steaming it. Oh my god. Look at him. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hi, buddy. Are you hiding? Where's Bonker? <gasps> Where's Bonker? Hey you guys, happy Tuesday. Okay, y'all, this weekend was a complete disaster. Like a good one and a bad one. Lots of stuff happened. I mean, lots of exciting stuff happened, but then also like stressful stuff happened. And I just, I just dropped the ball. I was like, you know what? My pandas don't need this kind of energy right now. So I'm going to put a pin in vlogging and we'll pick up whenever we need to pick up. Now, I went to my P.O. Box. And I know you can hear that landscaper. Like I know for a fact, this isn't one of those situations where I'm complaining that I think you can hear it and you guys say you don't hear it. I know you can hear it. This weekend was just not the weekend to film. I mean, from roof replacement to getting new fencing, like the neighborhood was alive and not in a pleasant way. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? I'm just, I'm just gonna wait. And I decided to wait till this morning and then my neighbor's landscaper showed up. I just, it's like they know, are these environmental noises that always happen, but they only aggravate us when we need it to be quiet? Like, are they that frequent, but we don't notice them until we need it to be quiet? Like, I'm, I'm starting to think that, you know, because there's no way that, do you hear that? There's a big <coughs> construction truck outside now. And now the dog was barking. It's just been one of those one after another, after another, after another, after another, and again, da, 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 da. like, I can't even be upset anymore. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open some P.O. Box lovin' from you guys. 
and then we'll end this vlog and then I gotta get to work and that's what we're gonna do. So that's what we're doing. Are we ready for this? All right, so I pre-open packages sometimes because one, I get really creepy <laughs> sometimes. Like I'm talking creepy stuff. Like, I don't know, half-eaten food, used makeup, or a letter on how I'm killing my family by taking them to restaurants. So it's, the internet's a funny place. <laughs> so I pre-open them, but primarily because they can be a lot of like PR samples and stuff like that that are like unidentifiable the way they're labeled. And I don't wanna waste your time showing you guys PR samples because that's what Instagram's all about. <laughs> so this package is from Erica Cota in Norfolk, Norfolk, Virginia. Am I saying that right? I hope so. So she sent us, oh my goodness, there's an itty bitty baby. That is so sweet. Oh my gosh, this is Erica that sent me the cross stitch. Do you guys remember last year I got three little cross stitch pictures? It was the dogs, me and Parker, and then what was the other one? I have it on a frame. Me and a panda. <laughs> it's up there in my, in my background. She's the same one that sent us that cross stitch and she just had a newborn baby in June. Congratulations. Look how little the baby is. It's a little itty bitty. How sweet. What a beautiful family. Well, she's sending us a congratulations on our um, wedding despite COVID. Congratulations on a baby despite COVID. <laughs> oh, that's the worst. Wishing you and your family well. I enjoy these videos and vlogs so much. I feel like we're friends in my head. Hugs from Virginia, from Erica, Jason, Oscar, and Olive. Oh, how cute. Let's see what we got here. All right. Okay. Oh, that's a Adorable. Aww, it's a wedding present. Look at that, and it's so little. I can put it in the background. I haven't developed any of our wedding pictures, like none of them. I haven't developed a single one, except for the photo album that I got from Mixed Book. I haven't developed anything. She's <laughs> gonna snakes. Y'all, these are good. I've talked about them in the vlog before. If you haven't tried these, you're missing out. They're delicious. They're like the, that really tough, gummy bear, but one of the snakes is sour and then the other one is sweet. So if you take a bite of both at the same time, it's delicious. Or if you separate them, one's really sweet and one's really sour. It's a whole adventure. Look at baby Olive, you guys. Oh my goodness. It's a baby Olive. Sweet. Oh, I miss a newborn baby smell. You guys, how thoughtful is Erica? Isn't that sweet? Oh. It's a wedding card. <laughs> That's so special. It makes it feel so real, you know, because we just randomly showed up. Well, not randomly, but we showed up at a courthouse, got married, and then all of a sudden we're married. But we never did like the wedding cake and the, you know, all that stuff. So it's just so surreal to get an actual wedding card for something that was like a blur in time. Erica, you're always so thoughtful. And I cannot even imagine you cross-stitching right now with such an itty-bitty baby newborn at home and another little boy. <laughs> this is a miracle. I can't even believe you managed this. Like, I can barely with my life. Like, I'm, I'm dirty hair right now. <laughs> okay, the next package is from Vanessa Texera or Tejeda from Rockport, Maine. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, Y'all, I love hats. Have I told you that before? Like, I'm a big fan of hats. It's like the best way to cover dirty hair, you know? All right, so we're already winning. What is this? Oh, it's a pencil bag. It's a panda pencil bag. How cute is that? I wouldn't use it for that. I'd probably like do like a makeup bag in my purse. <laughs> that is so cute. Okay, and then, ooh, this made it safely. That's refreshing. Y'all, mugs never make it safely. Like, it's a rare occasion when it does. <gasps> oh, this is so pretty. Feet, what do I need you for if I have wings to fly? It's Frida Kahlo on one of her most favorite quotes ever. I love this mug. I kind of don't want to use it for coffee. I want to put it in the background of my videos. But we may be moving soon, so I'll have to put it in a different background. But I love this mug. Thank you. Oh, look at the detail on the inside. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I should probably see it like that better. Isn't that pretty? I love this mug. I've never seen a Frida Kahlo mug. That's awesome. Let's see what our friend tells us. Danny and Parker. Y'all, I'm starting to get jealous that you guys are, are addressing things to him now. Oh, it's another wedding 
card. Look at that. Sometimes when two people find each other, it makes your heart smile and say, wow, God is good. Aw, love to you both from Vanessa, Christopher, Christina, Christian, and Max. Wait, you is this Max? My dog boyfriend, Max? My bushy haired, crazy bangs, giant baby dog, Max? I think it is. You've sent us stuff before, right? Let's see. I'm gonna find out right now. <laughs> oh my God, Vanessa, you're so sweet. Thank you for always thinking about us. Okay, so Vanessa has this adorable dog. He, I think he's a sheep dog. I don't even know what breed that is, but it's like, do you guys remember the Little Mermaid dog? Prince Eric's dog, that's Max. Like, if Max were famous, that's Max. Um, and he's just absolutely precious. And Vanessa was just telling me about a little bit about her situation. And one thing that I wanna tell you, Vanessa, is you can always change your life. Your age doesn't mean anything. Whether you're an introvert or an extrovert doesn't mean anything. Every day is an opportunity for you to change your life. Every decision is one decision away from changing your life. So don't let maybe some self-created ideas hold you back from going after what you want for yourself. Don't settle. I mean, we have one life and what's the point in just being kind of happy? I know you said you had a good 2020, which I'm so excited about because 2020 is just a, a big confusion of a year. For a lot of us, it's been really yucky, but there's also been a lot of really nice things that are sprinkled in between the mix. So any time that you are not 100% fulfilled or happy in the situation you're in, you're always one decision away from completely changing your life. And it doesn't matter what situation you're in, how old you are, what the season is, where you are in life, all you have to do is decide for yourself that I could probably be happier and reach higher. And don't let don't let yourself hold you back. I think oftentimes we are our own worst critics. We are our own worst judge. Like ju we judge ourselves harshly and we do ourselves such a big disservice. So it's okay to put ourselves first. It's okay to think selfishly. It's okay to seek our own personal fulfillment. It's absolutely okay. And I think Max would like that. <laughs> Thank you so much for thinking about us. And really, you guys don't have to go out of your way to send us stuff. We all appreciate it. And I can't wait to show Parker. But you guys really just the support that you guys give us by, you know, supporting us in our weekend vlogs and commenting on all our adventures, that is more than enough support than we need, you know? All right, moving on to Ryome, Ryome Designs, Ryomi Designs. Let's see. That landscaper is not going to see is not going to live to see another day. Let me tell you. Look, I accidentally match. <laughs> Thanks, Vanessa. So, this is how you say it. custom tumblers. I think it's Ryome, Ryomi. I'm totally saying it wrong. I'm sorry. That's why I'm putting it up here. See, there you go. Right there. The little note says, hey there, I'm a longtime silent follower. I just wanted to send you this cup to help ease the pain of virtual learning. I'm right there with you as I have two boys myself. I hope you like it. I thought it was so you. I make custom tumblers and thought you needed one. All right. I bet this is going to be good. This is going to be so good. Oh my gosh. You guys. <gasps> Mina! <laughs> okay, rainbow, glitter, animal print, and my name. Could it be any more perfect? I mean, this is like almost like tie-dye animal print. Like, is that a thing? I think she created it. Oh my gosh, I think we just created animal print tie-dye. I can't pronounce her name. Nicole? Is this Nicole, you guys? Oh my gosh, I'm terrible. I'm so bad at reading handwriting confession. So I'm just going to say thank you, Ray Omi Designs. <laughs> this is so cool. I've never, I don't think I've ever gotten a custom tumbler that I haven't ordered for myself. <laughs> How cool. It's so sturdy too. You know what this would be good for? Like your vacation tumbler, like the one you take and they fill up the swim up bar. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And then she also included a straw, which is glittery, just like the tumbler itself. And we got a couple of treats. Man, you guys know me so well. Look, more gummy bears. That's awesome. All right, you guys, our next package is actually from Karen Mills in Milwaukee, in Wisconsin. A part of Wisconsin. Probably a suburb within Milwaukee. <laughs> she sent us 
such an adorable package, but I think primarily what I found most impactful and significant of this package is that she shares her law enforcement story with me. She finds it very refreshing that she can come to our videos and find some respite from the stresses that we face every day. I don't know, I just feel like when you guys come here, it's like we're going on a date. You know, and when you're going on a date, you want to talk about fun things like what's your favorite color and your favorite food and what do you look forward to and what are your hobbies. But you're not going to bring really heavy conversations to the table because you want it to be something that you enjoy and that helps you relax and that makes you feel welcome and is exciting. And if it can distract you from the stresses of everyday life because we're talking about lip gloss or, um, I don't know, Amazon finds or things like that, then that's something that I know I can do successfully. And so I loved her letter. And so she sent us some face masks, which I thought were adorable, but I don't know if she makes them because there's no um, card. Maybe she just bought them for us, but they are the cutest masks ever. And they all have um, little noses, little nose bars, like wires. Look at this one. Isn't that adorable? And they fit so well. So there's a panda one. Look at this one. How do you even find this fabric? <laughs> How do you find this? This is literally like the perfect color, the most adorable chubby giant head pandas. And then um, we also have a few that have soda pop on them. Yeah, I said pop. So look at those. Aren't those pretty? There's, I think there's a tag on them. Maybe that tells us where they're from. Mills makes designs. So you do make them. Why didn't you put your card so we can plug you? Now I'm gonna have to go like on a deep dive internet search, which I don't mind. <laughs> That's her tag. Mills makes designs. Look at how well made these are. These are pocket masks. So for filters, if you wanted to put a filter, and then the nose piece comes out so that when you wash them, it works. Um, you can put them back. So you take them out, wash them, and then put them back in after you dry them. Look at what she sent for the boys. How cute! Daniel's gonna lose his poop. He is obsessed with dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are his thing. His whole life. Animals and dinosaurs. And then look at the Captain America one. It's like old school comics. I love that they're a smaller size too. Isn't that cute? So cute. They're gonna go crazy. But this one, this one's really special. I'm gonna, I I'm can't wait to show Parker. Cause there's like fun on the inside. It's like respectable on the outside, fun on the inside. So this is a um, black, just an ordinary black mask. Super nice, right? Very well made. And then look at the inside. Isn't that cool? It's like a mullet mask. <laughs> Professional on the outside, fun on the inside. Oh my gosh, Karen, you're the best. You made the world seem so much smaller and it's hard to feel like I'm always wrong. You know, it's hard to, it's hard to open my social media every day this year in particular without being shamed for doing or not doing, for saying and not saying, for not speaking up, for not having an opinion, for not being self-righteous. And it's like, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to because no matter what I do, someone's gonna feel bad. By not doing it, people are feeling bad, but at least I'm not feeling so terrible, you know, because I don't want that I don't I don't want to go out of my way to make someone feel unwelcome, and I don't think this is my platform to do that. By raising my kids and guaranteeing that they are not gonna contribute negatively to the development of our community. That's not that's not what my family's about. That's not what we're raising our kids to be about. And all I can do is feel confident that by continuing to spread kindness and love, I'm doing my part. You can open any social media platform right now and, and get your daily dose of opinions. <laughs> if you want my opinion, I'm gonna talk to you about lipstick, Amazon finds, maybe dog stuff, you know? So anyway, Karen, I appreciate you so much. Thank you for thinking about us and thank you for um, sharing your support. We support you and your husband right back. Thank you so much for thinking about us, but um, especially for sending me one of my favorite dogs. Y'all, goals right here. I've always wanted a German Shepherd. I know, it's the worst. I don't have that kind of time or energy to have a German Shepherd, but eventually, maybe, in my older age, I will. Holy goodness, this one's a big one. This is from 
Oklahoma? Wait, where is this from? It's from Mari Alvarado, <laughs> Mari Bay. I used to work at a hospital and I worked right next to someone named Mari Bay. She was my Mari. I saw her every day. I loved her so much. I left San Diego and I lost touch. And if I could ever get back in touch with her, I think my whole life would feel so happy. I just miss her so much. And so anytime I see that someone's name is Mari Bay, I automatically, I'm like, Mari! <laughs> So this is from Maribel Alvarado, but I don't, I can't tell what the handwriting says. It's Arkansas, Oklahoma, Oregon, maybe? Oregon, because the zip code is 97015, which is the West Coast. All the nines are the West Coast, so I think Oregon. Let's go with that, let's go with Oregon. What do we got in here? Holy crap, oh look at that. Made in Oregon, <laughs> nailed it. What a cute little bag, what is this? this? Leslie, you want to help me look what's in this bag? Oh, it's heavy. Oh, I'm scared. What is this? In dreams and in love, there are no impossibilities. It's a paperweight. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, that is gorgeous. Thank you. Can't wait to put that in our new house. <laughs> what is this? Oregon Hill Seedless Marion Berry Jam. Oh, Jam is the best. Parker's mom makes the best jam. Oh, should we taste it? Kind of want to open it. Should we open it? Oh, it smells delicious. Now I need toast. All right, and then we got this cute little box. Oh, it's feeling so little. Oh, it's a wedding present. Look, it's a little wedding cake with chubby little birds on it. How sweet. Oh, I love it. Oh, look at her. She's so, look, her little eyes are closed. How precious. Oh, I love it. Well, I mean, if you couldn't tell by my high pitch shrieks. <laughs> what is this? Another box? Keep your heart brave and your imagination wild. Oh, Wesley, it's a doggy mug. I love my rescue dog. Oh, where's Mern when you need her? How pretty is that? Look at the, the ceramic is so pretty. I love neutrals. It's so pretty, thank you. That kind of looks like Mern, doesn't it? Look at that, the little pointy ears. Oh, so cute. Okay, what else? Lisa Leonard Designs. It is well with my soul. That's kind of what we were just talking about, you know? Look at how pretty, it's a necklace. It is well with my soul. Okay, we got Oregon rain soap made with real Oregon rain, oatmeal, milk, and honey. Oh, it smells good. It's like goat milk soap. Goat milk has been used for centuries as a beauty treatment for radiant skin. It smells really good. Guys, there's also an Oregon rain candle. Oh, I love the smell of gardenia. Sam would go crazy for this candle. Look at, I don't know why I'm showing you a candle, but <laughs> it's a, so, an Oregon rain. Is that like a thing that, that Oregon does? Like Oregon crafts or they use their rain? Does it rain that much? That's exciting. Oregon rain soy candle. Danny and Parker. Ooh. Maybe this is me and Mari. <laughs> me and Mari wearing fancy heels. Congratulations on your marriage. May God bless you both and surround you with so much happiness. Oh, that is so cute. The P sounds like an amazing man wishing you both so much happiness. I hope you enjoy this package. It made me think of you when I saw these items. Oh, you guys are so thoughtful. I'm so lucky. I'm. If you had told me 10 years ago that I would be making videos on the internet and making friends with strangers and opening gifts, opening gifts of people that have never met me because it reminds them of me, I would have never believed you. Like, it, I'm just like some random girl that couldn't speak English until later in life. <laughs> oh my God. This is so beautiful. You guys, I, you can't send me these things because I get all emotional. <laughs> Look at this clutch. Isn't that stunning? They're fairies. I couldn't see them at first. Watch. Do you see them all? And look, they're on the back too. Isn't that pretty? 
so pretty. Maddie, you outdid yourself. Thank you so much. All of this stuff is so gorgeous. You guys are absolutely so wonderful. You make my day every day on the worst days, on the best days, on the yucky days, on the happy days. You're such a driving force for me, something that just keeps me coming back. And it's crazy to say that even though I am self-employed and I decide and I'm my own boss and I set my own hours, I feel like it's so much bigger than that. You know, it's so much bigger than me just sitting in a room by myself talking to a camera. I feel like I do connect with you guys. I do celebrate with you guys. I do get excited when you tell me it's your birthday. I do get so giddy when you tell me you rescued an animal or you had a baby. When you guys tell me that, you know, I keep you company while you're nursing at two or three in the morning. I feel that connection with you guys and it's such a bizarre feeling because we've never met. Isn't that crazy? So the last box that we have here is from Mia Bella. This company did reach out to me and said, hey, I grew up in your same neighborhood. And I'm like, wait, where do you live? Oh wait, you're my mom's neighbor. <laughs> so this candy brand is actually from the same neighborhood that I grew up in that my parents actually still live in. Always happy to support small businesses, especially if it involves me eating. <laughs> Look at how pretty that comes. Oh, you know what it is, don't you? Yeah, you do. Look at you, investigating. Wesley's over here like, oh, what do we got? Let's see, are you a little Mexican? Huh? You're gonna trying to eat this chamoy? Ooh, we got some gummy bears. Look at that. And then, what's in this one? Oh, peach. Those peach rings. I think this is one of those candy brands that takes candy and then like makes it extra yummy. Yeah, so look at that. These are the Chamoy gummy worms. My mouth is watering. <laughs> I'm so predictable. And then this is the Chamoy Tamarindo Rim Dip. So I don't know if you guys can see, but that's kind of runny. So what you do is like, if you're gonna make a michelada, which is like that salty, salty, spicy, savory beer drink, you rim your glass with this, and that way when you drink, you get that flavor of chamoy and tamarind on the glass. And then this is the chamoy gummy worms. I think we should try one of these. You guys, it's like nine in the morning, so. Mmm, <laughs> all right, we're going for it. Oh, they're big. Mmm, you know, I've never actually had, excuse me, sir, I saw you. I've never actually had these kinds of candies. What kind of a Mexican candy fan am I? Wow, these are delicious. Mmm, mmm. Y'all, my camera's playing games, let me tell you. This is so good. I feel like I'm betraying my people by not having tried this type of candy before. It is so good, you guys. And the best part is that it's not um, spicy. Usually you're like, okay, you're scared to try Mexican candy because you automatically think it's gonna be really salty and really spicy. It is perfectly savory. It is so good. It's not sticky. It's good. It's delicious. I already ate three. My camera overheated and then it fell off the tripod. And while that was happening, I had I had to eat more. <laughs> I don't remember if I showed you guys, but I kind of don't want to because then I have to share. And I'm not I'm not a good share. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. Look at that. Isn't that good? You're supposed to keep it in the refrigerator. Dude, gummy bears in the refrigerator are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this day is just getting better and better. <laughs> so we are definitely gonna enjoy this uh, with some delicious beer. Um, and then, or actually, you know what? I could do this. I could dip it into these. Why am I getting these ideas at like 9.30 in the morning? <laughs> so thank you, Mia Bella's Candies, for thinking about me. Uh, say hi to my parents if you run into them at Apple Tree. <laughs> it's a local super, it's like a local little supermarket. <laughs> that everyone goes to in that neighborhood. So delicious, absolutely wonderful. So I'm gonna link their website um, in the description box below. Everyone else that thought about me and Parker and all the congratulations and all that stuff, you guys are absolutely fantastic. 
I just... I am literally nobody in a suburb in Dallas hitting record on my camera trying to make friends. That's how this job started for me. I was lonely, I was in a not so good marriage, I was a first time mom and I wanted to make friends and you guys came through and you continuously come through and you make the world such a small place. It is a big, cold, scary place most of the time but you guys make it feel so warm and so small and I appreciate you guys so much. And I swear to God, if you make me cry one more time, I may have to break up with you. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for always watching these vlogs, for being so supportive. All of the stuff you saw in this vlog, my Poshmark, the Mia Bella's candies, the masks, y'all, these masks. Mills makes designs. All of this stuff will be listed and linked in the description box below of these videos. I can't tell you in any more ways how much I appreciate you guys. I don't have the words or the capacity or the intellectual ability to describe to you how much I appreciate you guys. Y'all are absolutely wonderful. I hope you enjoy watching these vlogs as much as I enjoy doing them for you. Editing, not so much. Doing them, absolutely. <laughs> Anything and everything that you guys saw, with the exception of Bunker, will be listed and linked in the description box of this video. If I, however, forget to link something, just leave me a comment in the description box or in the comment section below and I'll try my best to link it for you guys. Like this amazing sweatshirt that I just bought the other day. Anyway. That's it. El que mucho se despide. I love you guys so much. And you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye, guys.